back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this one's kind of a fun one. Uh, I just got the um, 3D Quakers Forester plugin, which allows you to do some pretty cool things with um, trees and, and flora in your in your scenes very quickly. Uh, the plugin is uh, $350, um, but it comes with so many features, and uh, I'm just really enjoying um, the ease with which you can add a lot of detail to your architectural visual visualization scenes or any other kind of scene you might want to try to build uh, environmental or urban or whatever so uh, let's just show you how this works um, I'm using the Arnold renderer so let me bring that in so you guys can kind of take a look at um, what I'm seeing here um, so I've gonna go ahead and just kind of start from scratch here um, I've got an just a plane and a basic Arnold sky that I made a physical sky so uh, nothing special there um, I haven't really messed with too much as far as exposure and intensity but just gonna keep it kind of like somewhere around there um, so once you get this you're gonna have under extensions you're gonna have this these three out op four options forest to rock forest to tree multi cloner and multi flora so you just bring in a Forester tree, you're immediately going to see a tree in your scene. And inside of the um, library down here, uh, you're going to see a whole host of almost too many different trees to um, to pick from. So that's kind of a cool one. Let's let's just try picking this one here. Um, and so there it is, just like that. Brought it into my scene, textured it. Um, added leaves to it so you could just be done there or you could quickly select a different one and right away you've got another tree um, so let's look at some of these parameters um, so first of all in the tree parameters we have a whole bunch of things that we can change um, you know things like our, our render levels our size our growth um, and then you know you're probably going to want to mess with a lot of the uh, leaves settings um, you can kind of make the tree a little thinner or thicker to your liking um, you can make the leaves a lot bigger shaggy or something kind of almost cartoonish should you want um, you can vary these as much as you want um, change the orientation a um, whole bunch of things you can do in there uh, if you're gonna animate this you can mess with some of these um, wind settings to uh, to make the the tree move as I play through the timeline so that's pretty cool if you're making a visualization um, or like a, a little animation of a, of a scene um, you can add things like fruit to the scene um, I haven't messed with this too much but I'm assuming that um, I'm assuming you can just come in here and start adding fruit or if you have different layers to or polygons it'll attach itself to it like that um, but I haven't messed with that too much so forgive me for not having a whole lot of knowledge on that but um, to do some really cool things here and to build a, a larger scene very quickly um, you know you could just take these trees and you know copy them out and, and change the settings individually but they give you this great uh, extension called the multi cloner um, and so if we just make the um, palmetto tree a child of the multi cloner um, nothing's gonna happen yet but uh, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna distribute on geometry and that's where I'm gonna take my plane and I'm just gonna drop it in there and you'll see in your viewport here um, in the perspective view I don't see anything but if I uh, if I undock this to give you a bigger view you can also use the same controls inside of the um, Arnold render to get different perspectives and different views 
And it just did a beautiful job of really quickly building up a, a forest. Um, and you really have to look hard to see that the trees have a lot of similarities. But if that bothers you, um, you know, there's there's a lot of different ways inside of the um, multi-cloner that you can randomize um, the trees. And so you can do things like um, change the turbulence so it'll just kind of ra randomize it. Um, the rotation. Um, now I've got some leaning trees and whatnot. Um, so just just an extremely powerful tool. Um, so I just thought that was really cool to share. Um, and I will be back with another tutorial uh, showing you how you can do the same thing with grass and the same thing with rocks. So imagine you want to create a front lawn or you want to create a riverbed using uh, you know a whole array of rocks um, so I'll kind of show you some some better examples of this and some applications in the next tutorial but thanks for watching and stay tuned